and I circled around like a ding dong, trying to build up my nerve. I grabbed a couple bananas. Hello lovers, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today our journey takes us from Miami to the Florida Keys. In this episode, we get to see a crazy cat man. I get my cheeseburger in paradise and God comes through. I put my faith in something that I didn't think was gonna happen and it was kind of a miracle. Stay tuned because there's a lot going on in this episode and it's the Florida Keys. You don't wanna miss it. So let's jump right in. So the plan for today is to go down to the Keys. The only issue is that in the Keys, there's no parking, no overnight parking. All the forums that I've looked on, they all say there's just nowhere to park. Like they have security and patrols going on all the time. I even called a couple places and they just don't allow it. I even looked on couch surfing and the only people that were available were people that lived on boats. So first of all, I don't want to sleep on someone's boat. And second of all, if they have a boat, they may not even have a parking spot for my car. The Airbnbs and hotels, the prices were atrocious. All the camping places were expensive, but also booked for like months or even years in advance. So I don't know, wish me luck. Actually, I don't really believe in luck, but say a prayer. Hey, hey, you watching this video. If you look down and you don't see that it says subscribed, that means you're not subscribed. So just hit the subscribe button, then hit that notification bell so that you can know every time I upload a new video and throw a like on it. We are almost to a thousand subscribers and join the Snacks family. If you watched my last video on Miami, you'll know at the end I have a bit of a meltdown. During that meltdown, I was just really over everything. And then I called my son Marcus and he's super faithful to God. And he always reminds me of how powerful God is. So we were talking and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the Florida Keys, but all the forums are saying there's no parking. So I'm probably gonna have to just go down and then drive back the same night. And that's like a three and a half hour drive. And he was like, do you believe in God's power or not? And I was like, I mean, I do, but like all these people were saying like they've tried and he's like, but God is bigger than a parking spot, bigger than the keys, bigger than everything. And you just have to go to try it. I'm like, yeah, but like everything was, I was like, yeah, but the older you get, the more experiences you have, you start to rely on your experience as truth. But that's not always the case. Just because something has happened in the past does not mean it's gonna happen again. So I was like, well, I don't wanna just go down there with no plan and just like get stuck down there. He's like, you're not gonna get stuck, but you have to believe in what you cannot see, which is faith. And that's the point of faith is to do it <laughs> and trust that God's gonna catch you. And I was like, all right, well, I'll sleep on it. So I got on the road as I started getting into the Keys. So I've always heard of the Florida Keys. I actually didn't even know where they were before looking on the map on this trip. And I started to, to notice some of the names that I've always heard of like Key Largo. And I was getting excited. I was like, oh my gosh, like I've heard about these names like in songs. Key Largo, Montego, dun, dun, ba, da, dee, do. I was like, okay, I've heard of Key Largo and oh, and the Nuna. Bahamas, come on pretty mama, beach boys. Everything on the Keys is like very narrow. It's just like the main road and then a few houses and then water. So I kept driving and everything was just beautiful. The water was gorgeous. As I drove through, I just kept seeing all the names of the different Keys. And I would say on my way there, the key with the brightest water was Shark Key. It was like icy blue water. It was so like piercingly beautiful I wanted to stop but there's nowhere to really stop like on the sides but it was just so pretty I arrived to Key West about two o'clock and one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to see the sunset while I was there because everybody said it's gorgeous so I was like okay from two to six what am I gonna do I kept driving around and everything was paid parking like metered parking so I was like, okay, well, I want to see a few things. There was like four specific things that I wanted to see while I was there. And so I was driving around and I couldn't really find parking. And then I found a spot and then they just parked and paid for it. And then I realized that's dumb because you should have like driven by the first place that you wanted to see and then park as close to that as possible. But I had already paid and it was $4 an hour. The first place I wanted to go to was Margaritaville. Now, I know there's Margaritavilles in a lot of other places, but this one in Key West is the original. 
And I was raised on Jimmy Buffett, Beach Boys, Air Supply, and all that. My mom and dad always used to play that. It's got a special place in my heart. It was like a 15 minute walk from where my parking was. And I was like, shoot. So I was like walking super fast. I got to get in, eat, and get out. So luckily there was only one person ahead of me and I got a table by myself and it was decorated so cool. Like everything was like Margaritaville out. They had like a big video screen of um, all his videos. And of course I was gonna get a picture with Jimmy Buffett. So I ordered my cheeseburger in paradise and I ordered a mango margarita virgin and it was good like it wasn't like the best burger i've ever had but it was oh it was huge though like gigantic i was like oh my god i'm not gonna be able to eat all this it was just a really nice vibe in there i loved it and then i was like okay i have like 30 minutes <laughs> before i have to move my car so i was like oh my gosh like this is one thing that i always tell myself like i promise myself that i won't do things in a rush but then somehow I get myself into a mess sometimes. And I'm like, why didn't I just put more money on the meter? Stop being cheap. So I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. If I could get to the next two things that I wanna see, I could just go there, take a picture and move on. Which is not ideal because basically you're just doing it for a video or for the gram. But also at least I could say I did it. So I took my margarita to go and I was just like booking it. And it was a cold day, but also when you're walking fast, I was just like hot and sweaty. Why are you so sweaty? So the first place I got to was mile marker zero. So it's, you know, when you're driving down the road and you see mile 157, 156, mile marker zero, it's the end of the freeway. And so it's like a big touristy thing. So there was a bunch of people in line waiting to take a picture of mile zero. I'm cool with that. But there was some people, it's like they were just like hugging it, doing poses, holding it up. It's rude. Everybody's there to see these things. Move on. So of course that took forever and I was just looking at my phone time and I was like, oh my God, I gotta go. So I just kind of like took a quick picture and then moved on. The next thing I wanted to see was the southernmost point, the most south point in the United States. It was only like a five minute walk. So I was like, oh my gosh, the time is crunching. There, it was even a longer line. I, like, it was like a ride at Disneyland long. I was like, okay, come on people. It's just a, like, not even a statue, but just like a piece of concrete that says southernmost point. So I just kind of like did a walk by filming real fast and then moved on. Then I got like four minutes to get to this parking spot. I was just speed walking, speed walking, speed walking. I got to the spot where I thought it was and it wasn't there. I was like, oh my gosh, like it's another two blocks down and I was like, Okay, so I, at that point I was like doing an even faster walk, like a walk jog. So finally I got there with like, I think it was like two minutes over, but luckily nobody was there to tow my car. But there were like patrols going by, so I know that they are on it over there. And then I just sat in my car sweating because I was just hot. Okay, so by that time I was close to four and I'm like, okay, now I'm here and I have like two and a half hours <laughs> until sunset. The last thing I wanted to do was I wanted to go to a place called Mallory Square. And that's where the big cruise ships dock and let all the people off. And that's their excursion point. So it's usually packed with people. But I wanted to go like closer to sunset. But I didn't want to pay to park for two and a half hours just to sit. And then I found that there was an actual Mallory Square parking lot. It's $5 an hour. But I was like, let me just get a spot in here and wait. So I went in there and there was never a patrol. So I just kept sitting there and I never, I never paid for it. So after like an hour and a half, then I saw a patrol come through. So then they started looking at dashboards. So then I was like, oh, and I just acted like I, you know, getting out of my car and going over to the pay box. I did pay for the parking and I got out and I went to Mallory Square and it was really nice. But of all the times I could go to Key West, this day was like exceptionally windy. So my hair was flying all over the place and it was super cold. So it was okay though, because it was still beautiful. And there were street performers, people doing like 
acrobatic -y things and then there's a cat guy and he's trained cats to just do tricks like jump through like round metal hoop things and it's nothing extensive it's not like a full-on vegas show but it's cute and he's a kooky weird guy and he makes weird faces and he says weird things and he walks up to people and just like gets in their face not gonna lie it's a little weird so i wanted to see that guy and i want to see the cats at this point it was getting later and this is where people start gathering for the beautiful sunset if you didn't already have a spot on the railing too bad for you and i did have a spot but i kind of got edged out i was kind of mad because people just kind of squeezed in there and it's annoying after a while i was like tapped on somebody's shoulder i was like can i squeeze in and just take a quick video so i went in and just got in and then i got out because that's what you do okay so i will say that after that sun as soon as that sun like dipped to the bottom of the water people were scattered they were out because it was so cold and windy i guess they went back on the ship or into stores or restaurants but that place was like empty within like five minutes so then it was getting later the sun was down and then it was starting to get dark so i finally went back to my car at that point I just sat there. The time has come. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I staying or am I gonna just jump on the road and go back to Miami? I'm gonna give it to God. I knew that everywhere around the Key West touristy part was a no-go. All of it was paid parking. There was big signs. There was patrols. Uh, it, it, like I just knew that that wasn't gonna be a thing. But maybe like a little bit north, I could find a spot. Let me try to find some places that are 24 hours first spot I went to there was a 24-hour McDonald's people were coming through the drive-thru and it was like a really busy McDonald's and I didn't think that I was gonna have a good night's sleep there so I didn't even go in and ask I hop I drove by and there was vagrants out front just laying on the sidewalks and stuff it was very dark and I didn't really want to park there and then there was the last couple places was like Denny's and then a grocery store and so I was like all right this is what you're gonna do you're gonna get your nerve and you're gonna go in and talk to somebody and see if you can park at the Winn-Dixie. I circled around like a ding-dong trying to build up my nerve. I grabbed a couple bananas to pretend like I was shopping so I didn't look suspicious and <laughs> then I finally built up my nerve to go to the customer service desk. Oh my gosh I just did a hard thing. Well at least a hard thing for me. So Sometimes I can be a little timid, like I'm brave in like a lot of areas like traveling and just safety and all this stuff. But when it comes to talking to people, sometimes I just lock up. So I walked up to the customer service area and I was like, oh, who would I speak to to get permission to stay in the lot overnight? So she calls the manager, he comes over. I explained to him I'm on a long road trip and that I am looking for a place to sleep for the night and he was like okay he was a little confused but then he's like yeah that's fine and I'm like well there's signs posted that says it's patrolled by the police and there's no overnight parking he's like no no it's fine nobody's gonna bother you um, and so I wrote down his name this time because if you remember from the other video from the Walmart that security officer asked me for the name of the person that I got permission from uh, so I got this guy's name I have secured a spot for sleep in Key West. Everyone says it's not possible. But I you know, we'll see. Like I'm I'm hopeful. I think this is going to be great and then I'll just like make sure that I'm out of here by like 6 or 7 in the morning so that I can explore more of the Florida Keys. Yay! Okay, as soon as I made that video that you just saw, I called my son and I was like, "Guess what?" He's like, "You found a spot." And I was like, "Yes." And he's like, "There you go." He's like, "How do you feel?" And I was like, "I feel great." And I was like, "You know what? I'm not even going to lie. I actually do feel great." but I'm still processing in my mind what can go wrong. That's what happens to us. Like we all get a blessing and then we're like, yeah, but what's gonna go wrong with that blessing? I'm still like, yeah, they said I could park, but there's signs. So maybe they're gonna tap on my window and tell me I have to move and maybe he was wrong. And he's like, you need to just stop that. You just need to like grasp onto that thought and just be like, no. And so I was like, you know what, you're right. So I, like the rest of that night I was like, I'm done being negative about this. It is a blessing. I found this spot. I'm gonna be in Key West. Everyone said it can't be done, and here I am. Got my spot, I went to sleep, and then you're gonna have to watch the next video to find out what happens.